so today we're going to be graphing. So our first method of graphing is plotting points. So we have this equation y equals 2x plus 1. We're going to pick these five points. No particular reason, I just wanted you guys to get a good look at what this graph looks like. We're going to plug each point in to find out each ordered pair. So if I plug negative 2 in, I get 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3. If I plug negative 1 in, I get 2 times negative 1, which gives you negative 2, plus 1, which is negative 1. If you plug 0 in, you get 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So now what we're going to do is graph each of these points and then connect them together to graph our line. So negative 3, or negative 2, negative 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. This is point 1. Negative 1, negative 1. Ne 1, 1. This is point 2. 0, 1. 0, up, 1. 1, 3. 1, 3. And 2, up. Up, 5. So this is our last point. So if we connect all of these points so if you connect this these points by drawing in this line you'll get the line and mine's a little bit off just because I didn't use actual graph paper but when you do these at home and you use graph paper your lines will be exact method two is um, is how we're going to graph it using slope intercept form. So, this is the more preferred way because it's, it's more, ex it's easier and it requires less plugging in. So, since we know that our slope is equal to 2, and we know that our y-intercept is negative 3. Negative 3 is where our graph touches the y-axis. And at any y-intercept, the x-coordinate is 0. So the po that point is 0, negative 3. So if we draw in our y-intercept, and I'm going to name label it with a little y, and starting at our y-intercept, we're going to use the definition of slope to graph our line. So slope is just the ratio of rise over run. So if it has a slope of 2, that means its rise is 2 and its run is 1. So starting at 0, negative 3, we're going to go up 2 to the right 1 up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, and then starting at our same y-intercept, we're going to go down 2 and left 1. And that gives you the same kind of slope, because if you take negative right here, if you take negative 2 and put it over negative 1, you still get 2. So that gives us our points, and then we can connect them. We're going to connect them, and we're going to get the same line. This is the line we just got, and this is the line we got before. 
and if you look at them both, they're the same one. So that's all we're going to do with graphing. But make sure you come back and watch the next video we're gonna, where we're going to work on solving systems of equations.